Hey everybody, Anthony from Anthony in the Wild here, and today we are reviewing the S-U-A-O-K-I, Suaoki, I don't want to say it wrong, I'm sure I just did, but it, the name of the company is S-U-A-O-K-I, and it's the wireless cycle computer. I received this product for free or a heavily reduced price for my honest and unbiased opinion, and you guys know with me that's exactly what you're going to get today is my honest and unbiased opinion. Uh, if this video is helpful, please like it and share it. Let's get the word out. Uh, questions or comments, feel free to leave them. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, you can also follow me at Anthony Fierro, that's last name F-I-E-R-O, first name Anthony, here on YouTube as well as Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for a more detailed product review on this product as well as many other great product reviews too. Uh, but let's go into this one right here. Uh, this is the uh, SUAOKI, like I said, I don't want to butcher the name trying to say it, and it's the Wireless Cycle Computer. Uh, everything you see here is what you get minus two zip tie straps, which I've previously used when uh, use, you know trying this product out. Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I have mixed reviews about this. First of all, I had very high expectations um, for this. Uh, it did not live up to them. And I'm going to introduce you to everything that you see here in the product and go over what I liked and what I did not like about it. Uh, also, not included here with the what let me show you is the Uners user's manual. It is included, it's just not there in that shot. Uh, but that's what you're going to get with it as well. Everything you see here. Um, this is the user manual. Uh, this is the attachment that they're going to use to attach the, uh, the, the computer to the bike. Sorry, I'm shaking the, the camera here. Uh, two zip tie straps. This is the, um, the sensor, if you will, and then this is the magnet. Uh, and what this does is basically, uh, it does multiple things. Let me read over what the box says. It says, you know, five language display. Um, cycle A and B selectable, um, so if you're, you know, two riders or whatever, you can, you know, uh, have different inputs for both of you. Uh, it's metric imperial alternative. Uh, it is backlit. Uh, max speed uh, tells you trip time and distance. Uh, weekly riding time, automatic memory and update uh, every weekly. Uh, clock, stopwatch, uh, current speed, average speed, calorie consumption. It's an odometer. Total trip time, weekly riding distance, and detection uh, temperature. Uh, that is what the box says. Uh, here is the computer. Let me get a good look at it. Um, the user manual tells you how to do everything, but basically you just hold it down like that, and the back, uh, you know, the, the light comes on, hold it down again, uh, and the light goes off. And I'll run you through the functions here. I'll see if you can make sure you can see that. Uh, on the main thing is the clock and the um, speedometer. You click it once, you've got stopwatch. There's your distance, uh, your ride time, average speed, uh, max speed calories that you've burned, uh, CO2, the temperature, uh, total distance, total time, uh, and then you're back to clock, okay? Uh, the user manual tells you how to do everything and how to set everything up. Uh, it is right, there's five different language displays and uh, charts in here on how to, let me show you how that reads right there. Uh, you do this to get that and this to get that and there's a conversion chart and the whole bit. And I think that that's part of the problem. One of them is that it's set up for so many languages and so many variables all over the world that it makes it a lot tougher, okay? Uh, you're setting this thing. Yes, you can set it to kilometers or miles per hour, uh, but then to enter in your bike, uh, it, it just, setting it up took a little time. It was a little bit frustrating. It's not a quick setup as far as setting the computer up. Um, and then how it attaches to the bike is it comes with a little soft piece of, uh, you adhere to it. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera on you guys there. Uh, it does that, and then it's got this O-ring that hooks here, and then goes around the handlebars and hooks in here on the other side. And that's how this computer is attached to the handlebars on your bike. And it's like, you know, are you kidding me? Uh, you know, that's it there. The handlebar goes through here and it goes around it. it makes it easy to get on and off, yes. Um, probably not the most secure. Uh, way to fasten a, a piece of equipment to it. Uh, this here, let me move this back, uh, is what's going to read the magnet. Uh, this goes on the bike. The zip ties are used to hold this in. Yes, I say that again. They want you to hold it in with zip ties. This is going to hook to your frame. The magnet passing it is going to make a, a, you know, a, a signal that's going to be read here as far as that. Um, this thing has to be very close to this to read. Okay, I want to try to get this in the shot as well, if you can see here. Okay, it's reading. Okay, it's going back and forth like it would be on the tire, going around and reading the magnet. But if I pull it back to here, 
That's what it reset and do it. And you get nothing. And I get a little bit closer. And you get nothing. And the thing has to be so close for that magnet to read. Okay. Uh, the problem is, is that it's not going to be pointed straight at it on the bike. When the zip ties on, it's going to be like this. And it's going to go like this. And it is hard to get this thing lined up and close enough so that it'll actually read when it goes by. I mean, look how close I am and it's not even reading now. Okay. And we'll see if I can get it to read. And there it starts reading. And it's almost touching. Um, and like I said, it's this part that, you know, reads the mag. It's held on by zip ties, uh, which I think is just absolutely crazy. Um, but I, I would get it to work once and then, you know, stop it and try it again. And it was just hard to get it to do the, you know, read the same way every time. And so even go went for a ride, uh, even with it zip tied and bumping around, this thing seems to move. And if you're not, if it's not perfect, if it's not lined up just right, it's not going to read. So what does that leave you with? It gets rid of the odometer, the trip time, you know, or the, the average speed. It gets rid of a lot of things. Basically now what you've got is a clock with a thermometer uh, and a stopwatch uh, that's, you know, very flimsily attached to the bike. And I just don't care for it um, at all. I gave it three stars because it is pretty cool. Um, and even without the sensors and stuff, you still got a clock, it's backlit, stopwatch, you know, ride time, all that stuff. But the whole purpose of it, I mean, that's, that's anything you get, a, you know, at the, one of the box stores, you can get a little stopwatch that does all that, you know, um, for cheap. But this thing is, uh, you know, the whole point is about the odometer and the speed and things like that. And it's just, um, it's too, has to be too precise. And on a bike and you're going up and down, you know, bumps, hills and everything like that. You know, and even stationary on a stand, I couldn't get it to repeat the same way every time. So it was just a little, very tough setting it up, uh, using it and getting to produce the same results, you know, consistently um, was frustrating. Um, and it's just not everything I would have hoped it was. Um, and that's my honest uh, and unbiased opinion. And I'm just telling it like it is. So um, I don't really recommend it. Um, I appreciate them, you know, let me try this out and, and promote it for them. Like I said, three stars. I'm being, uh, you know, generous here because, like I said, it is a cool little clock, um, you know, and, and it's very cool in its idea. The practicality of it and the setting up and adjusting of it is um, is not simple. And like I said, I couldn't get it to repeat the same results. So uh, that's why I give it a low rating um, and I don't recommend it. But that's my honest opinion. Uh, guys, I hope this was helpful. This is Anthony from Anthony in the Wild. And we'll see you guys in the wild.